What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Miss Maggie T with Atlanta Hawks News. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss another post from me. But definitely want to go ahead and get into um, these updates and highlights. Um, it does look like we did lose um, a second straight home game uh, against the New York Knicks last night at 108 to 113. And going into the game, uh, for the first quarter, the game opened up with a lot of back and forth scoring. And neither team was able to jump out to a steady lead. Um, the Hawks were just 33% from the field through the first eight minutes of the game. And we found um, ourselves in the hole after the Knicks pulled off a 7-0 run. Um, their lead did grow during that first half. Um, the Hawks played better as the second quarter um, went on. Um, Collins had a much better second quarter, finishing with 14 points and six rebounds at halftime. Young added about 17 points of his own, along with seven assists and six made free throws. Um, the Hawks did kick off the third quarter by going on a 15 to six run in the first three minutes of the game. Um, of course, Trey Young scored and assisted on five of the six baskets during that span. He reached 10 assists with uh, about eight minutes to go in the third period. And then he had a um, straight double-double, a third straight double-double. His playmaking ability was a difference maker in this game and was definitely noticeable. Um, their lead was steady for a while, but that's when the Knicks started to kind of work their way back in into this um, to try to gain a lead. This is the second straight game that the Hawks lost their double-digit lead at the end of the third quarter. Of course, the two teams traded buckets for the majority of the fourth quarter, but there was a noticeable two-minute scoring drought for both teams. Cam Reddish missed a key dunk and a three-pointer that would have put the Hawks in a better position at the end of the game. He took three of Atlanta's last four shots. The Hawks ultimately failed. Of course, as usual, Young led the way for the Hawks. He finished with 31 points and 14 assists. Collins had about 18 points and 8 rebounds. And DeAndre Hunter um, played well, rounding out the game with about 23 points and 8 rebounds. With that being said, that's all I got to say on that. Let me know how you guys felt about that game. Um, it just seems like we're not closing out these games um, towards the second half. Um, there's definitely some improvement and of course, some, you know, players that were missed during this game, but no excuse. Um, the next man up, you know, um, I think definitely think that the Hawks need some improvement, um, defensively as well as offensively. I mean, both sides of the ball, honestly, um, definitely want to see a bit more of those players make a difference within this game. But until the next time, this is Maggie T with the Atlanta Hawks news and I'm out. Peace.